A Springboro legislator is pushing for a new state law that would require kids under 16 to wear bike helmets. Kelly May is here to tell us how much parents could be paying if their kids don't. Well, Deb, if passed, you could be fined up to $100. The new proposal was introduced in the state Senate today. I came up with them when we were riding around the pond. For Josh and Chris Fisher, brotherly bonding means a bike ride at Delco Park. Don't come home too often, so when I do, we try to do things together. And Chris makes sure little bro wears his helmet every time. I wear it pretty much every time I go on a bike ride. Sometimes I'll take it off just to get a little bit of fresh air on my hair, but I usually wear it so I don't get hurt. But Josh is the exception because only 20% of kids actually wear their bike helmets. We know that 70% of the deaths related to bicycle accidents could be avoided if children were wearing their bike helmet. State Senator Shannon Jones of Springboro wants to make it a law that kids under 16 must wear a helmet when riding. For kids who get caught, a first offense would cost 25 bucks. Second offense is $100. All the fines that are collected are going to be credited to a fund that's purpose is going to be for bicycle safety education and purchasing bike helmets to, to assist low-income families. And then you can snap it on. Josh thinks the law is a good idea, but at age 13, he thinks he's got a good enough head on his shoulders to judge his own riding skills. Definitely younger kids, like below 12. That would be the hardest thing about that law is determining what the age would be that where they stop wearing it. Now, helmets only cost about 10 bucks, so it's certainly cheaper to just wear it rather than risk paying the ticket. That proposal is headed to Senate committees next. Jack.